Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Rusty Twin Fin. We got this board upside down right now just to check out the twins, because I think that's a big part of this review, is the Rusty Twin Fin, and talking about different types of twin fins. We've got the Rusty Twin Fin right here. And when you talk about a twin fin, you normally don't talk about a, a, sh a high-performance shortboard looking twin fin. You're kind of, probably the, the image that comes into your head is a Steve Liss style twin pin, twin fin, which is what this board is right here. Big swallow tail, keel fins, wide throughout, wide nose, flat rocker, and uh, a board that's you know generally a lot of people associate with riding smaller waves or flatter face waves. They work in better waves as well, uh, but typically when they get the board, they're thinking like, oh, this board is gonna rip in like flat face waves, super fast down the line and uh, you know, small to medium waves, that's what they're buying that board for. So, Rusty comes out with a board called the Twin Fin, and that's what everybody immediately thinks, is like this board is gonna be for crummy surf, small surf, gravel surf. They don't necessarily come anywhere close to thinking about what the board's gonna be good for, which is actually good surf. This board's made for better waves, uh, Rusty himself, says that you know this board is really good for waist high up to head and a half. Uh, Josh Kerr, who is the team rider that Rusty designed the board with, um, it, you know, basically took this board to Northern California, took it all over Endo, and uh, a lot of the Rusty staffers and team guys have taken it to Tavarua and not even touched any of their other quiver, riding it at Cloud Break and at restaurants. So this board is clearly a performance board, four good waves, four waves with punch, and uh, really has nothing to do with a standard twin fin in your head other than it has two fins. So how is the difference so huge between this and like what you would consider a normal like fat wide twin fin? Uh, it, it all goes in really into the, into the design of the board. Um, this board is, is designed around a performance shortboard and so it's performance shortboard lengths, so not a compact shortboard, but a standard shortboard. Uh, pretty close to standard shortboard rails. The difference, like when you're looking at this board compared to a standard shortboard that's different, is that the rocker, the entry rocker is flatter. Uh, the concave through the center of the board is shallower. It doesn't have a massive concave. It does have a subtle single concave that runs into a, a deeper double concave out the back. Uh, but not as deep a concave as what you would have on a, on a more aggressive shortboard design. Goes into a double concave, and then the double concave flows right out between the exit of the, of the tail of the board and the wing. So that gives you some grip right there and some drive. Also, these wings right here are pretty defined wings right here, which gives you a good pivot point in the turn uh, and allow you to get that snappy turn off the top of the wave. And then the fin placement compared to a standard performance shortboard, the fin, fins are pushed back on the board. So if this was a thruster, uh, the, fins would be fur the front fins would be further forward, and then obviously you would have that uh, center fin, that tail fin in there as well. Why don't they put, a, a question that somebody had, you know, why don't they put a center plug on this board? The board's narrow enough in the back uh, with the concaves and the rails and these wings that you don't need the grip of that center fin. And then also once you start putting a center fin in, then people are gonna wanna try and ride it straight thruster and you're, everything's gonna be, because these are pushed further back, everything's gonna be too close together. So you're gonna end up with a lot of fin boxes in a board and it won't work well as a twin or a thruster. So just putting the twin fins in and using it as a straight twin because that's the way the board is designed. We got a chance to ride this board here through the fall in Cape Hatteras and, uh, and early winter as well. And what this board did really well was, was ride good, like good barreling waves. Um, super fast, really easy to get into the wave early. Uh, the similarity between this and like the twin fin that's in your head is that the board is ultra fast on the wave because uh, you don't have the drag of that center fin. And so immediately like your very first wave, you realize that the board's faster, but you don't have the slipperiness or the skittishness of a wider twin fin in hollow waves. Like this board, as soon as you're standing on it, it, you don't even, the only thing that 
makes you remember that it's a twin fin is how fast the board is going. And it equally has as much grip as a thruster or a quad, uh, but through the water it's way faster because there's just way less drag from not having those extra fins um, in the water. The takeoff is good, the hold of the board is really good, and the speed of the board is, uh, is just noticeably faster. Um, got a good amount of sessions both front side and back side on it, and it, it holds on, on, those, on those drops, you know, front side, back side, even really, really late back side, uh, it'll still hold the wave really well. And just, I think, surfing it or hearing, talking to somebody surfing it or watching those videos of uh, Josh Kerr and Indo just ripping on the thing, like taking off like under the, you know, he's basically standing up in the tube on these waves and just going and either riding it yourself, watching somebody ride it, or listening to somebody that rides it. That's what really wakes you up about this board is it's uh, just super fun in, in good performance waves and very, very fast. Like twin fins isn't something new for better waves. I, I think for a lot of people, this will be the first time that you're hearing anybody riding a twin fin in better waves, but a lot of bigger wave boards, whether it be uh, guns or tow boards or kite boards, a lot of those boards have been made uh, for fast moving waves as a twin like this. So it's not the first time that somebody's doing it, but I think this is you know, one of those things that somebody, a good designer is bringing back and adding modern, uh, modern technology to it, modern curves, modern rockers, and modern concaves, and then putting a twin on it and getting a board that's gonna be different than what you're riding right now, but still easily just as performance and and you know, just kind of freshen things up a bit. So it's a rusty twin fin. This is, uh, this is the one that I rode. This is a 6.6 uh, six at 39.4 liters. It's 6.6, 20.62, 2.63 6, at 39.4 liters. And uh, this thing worked really good here in Cape Hatteras. I was able to ride it from maybe like waist to stomach was the smallest I rode it, and then the biggest I rode it was a little bit overhead. And the whole time the thing felt super positive and just ultra fast. It's a Rusty Twin Fin from Rusty Surfboards. Any more questions on this board? Give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.